So many buses. Too much. Too much going on. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, meet the Perry Duking. Duking. Duke <laughs> How about when I knocked over everything on the table here last night? I remember that. I was like, you're all, what was that? What was, what was that? <laughs> I, was, I was just knocked over everything. You're good. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> just let the weather do its thing. It's real awkward when you're the last man standing on a trip. So we got 10 o'clock on the roster right now, February 15th. I'm in Niseko, Japan by myself. And uh, I don't have any flight out of here. I got to return Elvis's car to him somehow and then get back here, book a flight. But we got a three hour bus train ride to the airport. I got a lot to figure out. And uh, there's been like some Patreon questions of people asking how we travel and like some tips for traveling and number jack was claiming like we're probably not the people to ask but if you really think about it we are the people to ask if you only have like a 10 day trip or one week it's really nice to show up have the car have the airbnb get everything dialed have all your stuff charging you come off the mountain you'll need to literally be every two days spending two hours moving all your stuff to a different place but if you're long term like we are the one ways are crucial wait for the weather to be firing look at the google flights map out and just pick the cheapest day go land you're gonna be fine i always say like you're not gonna die you're gonna be good it just leaves a lot of room for 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 fun stuff to happen and for you to meet people in the airport and all that and it just makes it so that all of the things that you book can't go wrong if you don't have anything booked nothing can really go wrong and then number two is just have faith in yourself, like have faith in other people helping you out with trains and buses and different languages and all that type of thing. If you can get a crew, get a gangster crew to roll with you because it makes it so much more fun and reasonable when you have other homies that you're dealing with. But then on the flip side, like if you're trying to just like backpack and couch and just be like super, super cheap with it and you don't have a group that you're splitting everything with, just being by yourself so much easier to ask people for rides so much easier to fit into like a couch crash on somebody's floor squeeze into a car and get a ride to a mountain so there's different ways to do it and there's different levels to it but uh you can kind of make anything work and just people are awesome dude. people are so down to help we've had so much help from all over here and that's even without the youtube following and all that stuff when i was traveling always found how amazing humans were and to travel with the boys has just been legendary i want to show some love to them right now we'll throw tcat the duker Jack, Daily, all their Instagrams on the screen. The boys help coordinate so much stuff behind the scenes that I don't have to do. I was driving this whole time, but most of the time they're driving hours and hours, which allows me to do the other things. So as much work as I'm doing, I really couldn't do it without all of them and helping split things. Like we've literally been crashing freaking five people in this tiny little one bed here. We found blankets and mats and cushions and none of us care about anything. Look, we literally have been sleeping on blankets. We got little curtains. The boys are sleeping on curtains, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at this. Curtains. You think I'm joking? 
We're really just trying to dream and make this last as long as we can. So show the boys some love. They've got an hour, so we got to check out of here. Got all stoked on this rant, but good morning, guys. I appreciate the stoke and support and everybody who's joined on Patreon while we've been out here and watched any of the videos and shared them with your friends. Can't thank you enough. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with everything here. Somebody in this fast. Oh, I'm leaving before the K Bob stands open. And he slapped the CV there, but we gotta replace it with a CW because he's an OG. Little tutorial for those of you who don't know how to use the, the double sided die cut stickers. You wanna peel the sticker off so that it stays on like the paper part, not the plastic laminate. Then throw the sticker on. Warm her up, get the glue to stick, hopefully. And voila. Come through. We left him with a stack of CVs. Drop a how you doing? Get a free sticker. Buy a falafel too, honestly. The falafels, they're the hidden little gem that nobody knows about and they support his girl who works her absolute booty off. Cup falafel, maybe he'll give you two stickers. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. I love these guys. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> oh, how are you doing? Uh, not as good as you, that's oh, for sure. Oh no. <laughs> you got a slap oh, for you. I already got one from Elvis, but yeah, I already got well, That's I'll a CW though, those haven't come out yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Wait, here we go. You love to hear it too. <laughs> You love oh, to Casey feel it. Thank yeah, you. boom. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got another nice little travel tip for you guys. Stop leaving your f***ing trash everywhere. Nothing worse than that. Take your home with you. For real though, if you get any trash from any of these places, there's no garbage cans anywhere, you give it back to the place that you got it. Whole country has no garbage cans. Cleanest country I've ever been in. There she is. Bro. This is bad right now. <laughs> I might oh, right, anytime. If I can help anytime. Next year? Next year. Bro. Same time? Let me know next year right, in advance. Oh, I'll, I'll try my best to find you at the places there. I think Maybe we'll fly out for a surf in the summer or something. Oh, mate, if you do that. Yeah, Indonesia would be sick. <laughs> cool there. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, man. She's nice going to see you now, bro. <laughs> Where are you going? Are you are you leaving too? No, no, no. I live here, man. I'm here for the season. Oh, really? Yeah, we just spent just... basically the whole season here too. Yeah, that's like. crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. So many buses. Too much. Too much going on. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, meet the Perry Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just arrived at the same time, but I figured 
share some insight with you guys. I've been having crazy things happen on these travels and it's like the most repeated request that I get is just travel advice and Japan is an absolute beast. I told you about how I got my ticket home through finagling some flight miles and whatnot. A bus from the Seco Welcome Center at the Grand Harafu Station. I think it was like 30 bucks, two hours, right to New Chitose Airport. They literally drop you off right in front of the airport, right where all the domestic departures are. If you're traveling overseas though, remember that you're still domestic if you have a layover in Tokyo, like I do. So you actually don't have to worry about much. You don't have to worry about TSA at all. You can literally bring water, puppies, hard goods, whatever you need right through the airport. You can basically hop on the plane like 30 minutes before checking the bag, but it's super nice just to be here early. I'm here three and a half hours early because that international situation, I don't play those games, but you can just go right to the station. You can pay in cash for the bus. There's like four different options. Some of them are five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, depending on how fast and how many stops you want to get. We dropped a T-cap and his brother off at the train station earlier. That is also an option, but then you're going to be train hopping and depending on how much bags you have, it turns into a whole entire situation. But coming from the US or from anywhere, you usually have a layover in Tokyo before you come up to Niseko and there's all different types of mountains all around Japan that you can snowboard. So depending on where you're going to go, is going to be more specified to your situation. But I also realized that just that one little bus ride alone is one of the most crucial things you can do is book a flight by yourself and go somewhere gnarly and don't have any of your boys with you. Do it on your own because instantly I start meditating, instantly I start visualizing, instantly I start like creating the next five months, five years of my life just from not having anybody around me to talk to, putting in music and being by yourself in a foreign country. You just, you tap into a, like a pure state of gratitude and just awe like you're a child again. To do some navigating on your own. You gotta do some gnarly stuff on your own, which is crucial. So we're gonna keep these tips coming uh, as the day goes on here. We're about to go check these bags. I get two free bags with Japan Airlines through American Airlines, which is super proper. The boys booked some wild flights. They did one ways to Tokyo for like a hundred bucks with Jetstar, and Jetstar actually has a couple good checked bag fees, and then they took a day off there and then went American straight to LA. They were just looking for cheap airports in the US. LA happened to be the cheapest one. I think they booked the flight home for like 300 bucks, but normally flights to Japan are anywhere from 500 to $1,300 one way. You usually get a better deal if you book in advance and a round trip, but then you literally can show up and it could be like it is this week and you can get absolutely skunked. So we like to just watch the radar as soon as it's puking, just book the flight one way, show up and just absolutely wing it. And then, uh Sometimes it works out, sometimes it just takes a little bit longer to work out, but it always ends up working out. Drop a thumbs up. We'll keep these things coming for you. The line's dying down here. You always get the best rate for the currency exchange when you pull cash out of an ATM using a card. It gives you the exact Google bank ratio. If you go to a conversion, even though they might not charge the fee or a commission, they're just giving you a bad rate. So you usually lose like in pesos, for example, three to four pesos per dollar, which there's 18 to 20 pesos in a dollar. That's basically you're losing five to nine cents every dollar. So if you take out a hundred dollars, you're getting by, let alone taking out 500, you're losing 50 bucks. Nah, decap approved. Oh yeah, when you book a flight to Sapporo, you end up landing in New Chitose, an hour south of Sapporo. You're actually not in Sapporo. That's a huge freaking surprise. Classic. All right, a couple more tips. We just landed in Tokyo. They close the airports, so you can't just be sleeping in airports in Japan. They're trying to mitigate that, which makes sense. And they also kick you out of the train stations at midnight as well. But the trains are super fast. They connect literally everywhere. It's the best transportation around here. They got taxis, they got everything, and they have information desks everywhere where people will help you out. Nicest people on the planet. Not a claim, straight fact. We also have the Icon and Epic. If you're going to Japan, there's specific resorts where Icon gives you five to seven days, depending on if you have the full one or not. And same thing with Epic. Epic is Rizutsu for sure, and Icon is the whole Niseko area and all of those resorts. If you go to the smaller resorts, not like the main ones like Niseko, some of these places are like $2 for a run, $5 for two runs, $15 for three hours, and then Niseko itself is like 40 bucks for, I think like a half day and like 60 bucks for a full day if you want access to all of like the four mountains that they have right there. The most massive tip that I could give that I should have given right away, rule number one, download languages. Download Google Translate. I'm trying to get Google Translate. He's trying to get Google Translate. And you can literally download Japanese, you can download Spanish, you can have it when you're offline. Download English too. And that goes hand in hand with downloading Google Maps. Download it so you can have it in your offline maps. 
lifesaver. Third most massive thing is specific countries. You can't drive without a international driver's permit, which you can just go to AAA. You don't need to study anything. It is strictly a money grab. They just want twenty dollars from you. Show you it's just a bunch of stamps from AAA. It's legal, and you need it to rent cars. So get a AAA international driver's license. And I guess the final thing that I was claiming is just don't expect to be catered to. You know what I mean? Now when you're traveling, now it's your turn to realize it might not be so easy to learn a second language. So shout out to all the internationals who have English as good as they do. It's astonishing. It goes a long way to just like expect to be the bottom of the barrel. You're going to be freaked out. You're not going to know where you are. Just take a couple deep breaths. And you'll figure it out. Find people that are like under 30 and they'll have pretty decent English. Find people under like 22 and they'll have like really, really good English. And it's 22.50 right now, so we got like an hour to like close this airport. And we gotta figure out somewhere to go. Just got off the wrong stop. One early. All right, another tip, don't throw your ticket out. You need it to get on, but you also need it to get off. Left my ticket on the train when I jumped off too early and was just literally tripping. Getting so frustrated and literally thinking of my own advice, like, yo, don't expect to be catered to. You're in a foreign country, buddy. You're gonna blow it. It's your fault. At least the trains are still running. It's past midnight. This is what you get for three dollars. Normally, three minutes takes like, you know, five minutes, sometimes six minutes. When you're in a train station, three minutes takes 30 seconds. Look at that. Three minutes just. Got on the wrong train again. The next station is Tokyo. Pocket meat. Huh. I think it stopped at midnight. It's 12.30. We got nothing. Good. Not running. Perfect. Neither are the escalators. Please. Get your eye out of there. Woo! Alright, that's kind of cool. Is this guy okay? This looks like a full businessman. You. Sir. You okay? You okay? You good? Yes. You, you're good? Okay. I was gnarly. I never seen something like that. Full businessman. Blacked out on the ground. I think Ariana Huffington literally wrote a book about that. Hotel? About the 2000. Oh, that's not too bad. Thank you. I guess it was only 10 bucks. I didn't end up paying that third fee, so. 10 so 15 it would have been 75 so i saved 60 bucks and wasted probably two hours so where are we bro Ooh, water oh freaking chikiri oh chikiri <laughs> We're going to Peru. <laughs> We're going to Laos. We're going to <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Peace out, part two. Yep. Hope everything goes smooth. Thank you so much for having my chargers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't leave everything here. I mean, we got to hold down the fort. Yeah. Oh, that's good ramen in there. Yeah, that's great. You could have just. No one believes it. Could have just unbuckled his bindings. Could have unbuckled the bindings. What? I'm watching try. I couldn't yeah. even touch my toes. Guess one could say he was overstoked. <laughs> you're so overstoked. You're staying in Japan. I'm staying I'll see in Tokyo. In, you're leaving me. I would say I'll see you in ten months, but I'll see you in, in a month. I'll see you next uh, week. I'll see you Tuesday. See you in, I'll see you in Indo. See you in Indo. May 10th. I'm just gonna go to Indo. Oh, Japan was good, bro. Depressed. So Maria said peace. Is this hers? Sad right now. Yeah, so I said goodbye and thanks for the coffee. Thanks for your And now we got a six minute walk back to the train. This one's taking me straight to the airport.
dreaming? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, good to see you, man. Thank you, Steph. empty roads just with boys all right ladies and gentlemen we're back in the NAR as you're gonna see here in the next couple days I just want to shut this thing down with some insane gratitude for the crazy step up in the patreon we got Jack helping out with a bunch of BTS stuff and I just want to keep giving the love to you guys who have been supporting on there not only just now but in the past so I'm gonna do a giveaway real quick to shut this thing down so stay tuned but first the last tip that I want to give is Kind of just for anybody traveling and jet lag, I figured out this thing through Gary Brecco where you start to adjust your eating window to what you would do in your arrival area and your sleeping window. So right before I went to the airport, it was like four o'clock, I slept in the airport after eating two hours prior, which would have been 10 p.m. in New York, went to sleep at 12 p.m. in New York and just forced it, even though it was like midday, on the plane, I was exhausted anyway, slept until I woke up technically at 7 a.m. and I just stayed up, I fasted through the entire flight and when I landed like 12 hours later in New York, it was 6 p.m. I ate my last meal and I went to bed and everything was super dialed. So it's a dope little jet lag hack that I like to share with you guys before we're about to share some dope gear with you guys. So the Patreon tiers that we have right now, I'm gonna give a shout out to three new members. First of all, separate from this, a PayPal for the Japanese dream, Dan Stab. Super grateful for you and your wife. You guys are amazing. A random cash app, not much, but saw Japan vlog. Keep living the dream from Gabriel Kraus. Unbelievable support. We are so grateful. And then Andre upped their membership pledge on Patreon. First shout out. Thank you, Andre, who also came through with a Venmo stoke with a double up. So we're just gonna pick you right now. Andre Morgan, you've been supporting like crazy. Let's go. I got this pile back here. Oh, don't give me a Johnny. Basically things that I've only worn a couple times that I retired. This candy grind coach's jacket because I have a couple new ones. Wild amounts of gear that I can't even wear enough or give out to the boys. So we'll get like a pile going here of brand new Stoke, the Let It Stoke unworn, overstoked collab CV, candy grind mitts that I barely wear, down to weird stuff of like red light therapy. Companies who send me stuff that I barely use that I just want to give back to you guys who support every month on Patreon. It's hard to organize it all by yourself with how much I got going on. So with Jack able to help, we're gonna start doing this every single month. We're gonna pick somebody from the C-Dub special tier, which aside from all the things that you're gonna get, I'm gonna pick a random person and I'm just gonna send you what I was considering is under $100 worth of gear. So a brand new set of candy grind gloves, maybe that coach's jacket that we were looking at. And then we have another tier, which is the next tier up, which we only have a couple of people. So honestly, your odds of getting something sent to you in the mail is insane. The mega stoked tier, where then I'm gonna pick someone and send you like over $100 worth of gear. So a brand new 686 jacket, barely worn, bibs or pants that decap wore maybe three times. I got a lot of stoke here and we're gonna be gifting it back to you guys. So if you guys are trying to not only submit your questions and be able to DM me directly, there's a specific high tier where you can get a phone call every single month, 10 minutes, I'll chat with you on the phone and break down some stoke for you or break down anything that you got going on in your life if you need some advice or tips or you just need to get stoked out for 10 minutes. I appreciate you guys so much. Patreon.com slash Casey Willax. Here we go, the first one that we started this whole thing off with, we're going to pick Andre Morgan. I'll shoot you a message, but we're gonna give a shout out to New Mass 35 just became a new member and Richard just became a new member. We'll throw a sample pack of the Element, a bomb hole hat, and a pair of socks. 
for being in the C-Dub special tier. So I'm gonna be doing shout outs on here for the guys supporting over there and for you guys that are dropping dope comments. If you're not already subscribed, hit the red button below, drop a thumbs up. The Japan series has been mental. The boys are back on the East Coast. We're gonna be over here for a while, so drop some comments on what you wanna see in the upcoming videos. We got a lot of catch up to do for the end of February because we spent so much time over there, but as soon as March comes, maybe we'll drop a Narvi tour, a little East Coast style lap, loop around. Right now, I just need to get back to myself, be grateful for everything that I have, be grateful to be back where I am, and I appreciate all of you guys. Guys, we'll see you in the next one. Woo!